In Illustrator, most of the brushes are flat designs. They're not three-dimensional. Now, some of the designs, of course, are three-dimensional. You've got here some, a design that uh, has been added as a artistic brush. It's obviously a scroll. But if you want to actually add a three-dimensional brush, it's very simple, using the graphic styles or appearance palette. Now, to display the brushes, I'm just going to go to Window, Brushes. And you will see the brushes there. I'm just going to select the standard brush. It's a calligraphic brush. Just going to select that. Uh, it's going to be set to I'll say 2.3 point. And I just apply it like that. So it's just standard brush. And now if I go to the effect menu, 3D, extrude and bevel, preview. And you can just see a brush design here. Just three-dimensional brush there. Click OK. Now at that point, you can actually go to the appearance palette. Just you can actually add, maybe duplicate the item, maybe add slightly different effects, and maybe have a slightly different, maybe shift it, whatever, change the color, all those sort of things. You can create a slightly more complicated three-dimensional design. But I'm just going to quickly save that now as a graphic style, new graphic style. Click OK. So that style is now saved. So now, when I actually draw with a brush, it's a three-dimensional brush design. Now, if you've set the appearance palette, and now this might be the default on your system, is when you create new art, new art has basic appearance. If you have that checked, you won't be able to get that effect. You have to actually go and select the graphic style again. But here, just actually got it not selected so so I just every time I apply a brush it will just be three dimensional and of course I can change the color so just create another three dimensional brush just quickly select those now I can obviously I can just use that but if I wanted to like so I could actually go I've got some brushes here they're from graphicextras.com flower designs and I could actually make them three dimensional and I could save them as a three dimensional brush as well so you can just do vast number of three dimensional brush effects really quite nice